I live part-time in Burlington, Vermont, and then also between my family's horse farm in Maine. I spend a fair amount of my time doing illustration and paint, I guess design work. At any given time, I'm thinking either about food or surfing. In some capacity, it was surfing that really ended up making it so that I ended up meeting Keegan. I was hired or asked to do some designs for a booth for, I guess we're saying the surf brand, it was called Insight. Um, <laughs> it was a really great brand, rest in peace. Keegan was getting the booth ready for the trade show and I showed up and was able to draw all over it, etc. However, the booth was in pieces and needed greatly to be assembled. I think we pulled it together. I know that he pulled it together the most, but then um, from there I ended up moving out to California and doing some work off and on with the brand. And so then we started seeing each other regularly. Wound for me really is long before the brick and mortar space that everyone knows. It really began with Keegan's mother coming into Insight and bringing lunches to Keegan. And something that perhaps is really, really small in significance to someone else to me was huge for a couple different reasons. I was really broke at the time and was eating like Subway sandwiches, like veggie subs every day or like cheap takeout and Keegan would get these like really what I thought to be like beautiful made with love lunches brought to him by his mom and uh, I got to have a few um, every once in a while uh, Mama Fong would like bring one in and I'd be like oh my gosh can I have some of that I told him at that stage I said if you ever are were to do this I would love to be involved in some capacity and of course help and I just want to be supportive to it because it's something I really believe in. I flew out once they signed their lease and as I had promised we're, we would just be like making stuff within the space and it was very much so a like little Santa's elves workshop for a few days we were in there with scraps of wood and whatever scraps they had literally the paint tarp or the tarp for the wall is what became the paintings on the wall the pieces of off-cut scrap wood that were from making things in the restaurant became the shapes that became the signs I guess very much so it was like the 10 years earlier or however many years earlier with the surf expo thing Keegan again doing the hard part the hard work and of me coming in putting some scribbles on top of the, the hard work <laughs> For making the stuff for Woon in terms of like the flyers and the labels and all that, that is stuff that's like I'm on the go, I'm drawing in a little journal, um, whether I be at home or getting ready to go surf when I'm on the coast. And Keegan oftentimes will text me and again I'm on the other coast so it's a three hour difference plus he usually needs things like most people do like yesterday. Don't get a lot of heads up but you do that stuff for the people you really love. But yeah, I doodle things, put it together and then have to tackle the computer world which is a really daunting task for me because I'm not tech savvy so um, my girlfriend and I hunker down and she helps me clean up my stuff clean up the images we send them to Keegan and usually 99.9% .9 of the time they're good to go sometimes I misspell something or leave something out and we have to do it a few times but it's way different than having to do work with people that you don't know that you don't love as much as I do it's it feels like doing something for family because it is.